Take three. On the left-hand side, we have a score called Bach Arc 1, which sounds like this. And on the right-hand side, we have an animation called Bach Arc 1, which looks like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in New Realms, Episode 19, Polish, Sky Tower, Show, Emo, Open Close, and Express. In this episode, we re-entered by reflecting. It was a long 11 days, and we moved into and completed final prep and execution of two presentations. Along the way, we saw that seeing presentations as performances has become a thing in this series. Also, we did some reflection, looking ahead. It's time for opening up to new communities and skills and also to further create what we're calling a flash forward space into which to express. And in particular, in this episode, we distinguished further what we call memory-based composition and flash forward composition elements. Results. We completed a major conference presentation, preparation, rehearsal, performance, and recording Uh, this is the recording which is posted at the conference online, Virtual World Best Practices in Education. And this we've been preparing for for elapsed oh, time several months. So uh, we got that one done. And we're not going to play this for you. It's available online. We spent a lot of time in this episode preparing the slides. Also, we had another presentation on teamwork. Which we had a couple of video edits for. And this one is called the Team Project Machinima. And there you see another display where the leader of the project uh, is presenting a challenge to the students. So those are posted online. We experimented further with word and image composition, and this is something we've been doing lately in this series. We took a prompt called, the workshop was full of woody smells, the spiciness of cedar, the richness of oak, the warm tang of plain pine, and the fruity sweetness of apple. Now, if you've ever gone into a building store like Home Depot or something, and back in the wood section, or walked by a house that's being framed, you can smell the pine. And so the smell of wood, when we read this, uh, really caught our attention. And we thought, well, you can't smell stuff over the internet. Not yet, anyway. So would it be possible to compose an image that would go with that prompt and somehow communicate that. So this is what we came up with. You see fragrance bottles made of wood and fragrance bottles traditionally with, well, it looks like whiskey or something, but I guess it's supposed to be a fragrance. And to do this, the text came from an author named Garrett and a story called Muddle of the Woad. And we used uh, the simplified AI art generator to come up with that image. So that was inspired by our working with our presentation, uh, which we talked about composition elements. And then we experimented further as with what we're calling memory-based composition. So that's what this is. This is called Bach Arc because it sounds like a Bach fugue to us. It's pretty obviously sounds like a Bach fugue, we feel. Uh, but it has four parts. And and we were really pleased with how it came out because we were singing it. It was coming into our head, and we recorded it on our phone. And then we um, started a MuseScore score and began transcribing it. And boy, was that fun. It's trickier. These are tricky. We also did another one that was tricky. And then we had made an animation 
which we were showing you here, uh, the first one of this animation was for a, a very short piece of a Bach thing. And then we said it was too short. So what we're going to do to bring us home is play this animation, which is Bach arc, and take it from there. So here we go. That concludes today's episode. What we like about this composition is uh, this this concept of memory based music, and which is we feel half what happens in composing for us anyway. And um, we like the visualization. We feel like we had some subtle visual effects going on there. There's more to go, obviously. Speaking of light and uh, sound composition. Another thing that we're going to work on moving forward is a comparison video of um, four, four interpretations of light and um, movement and music. So these are all videos that we've taken uh, in world, in the metaverse, with 3D avatars and light shows and avatars Avatars dancing and the, and the whole nine yards. So we're going to be working on that next. So that is our idea. Continue the synchronized dance, light, and music in the metaverse. So shout outs to Silent Lurker, Buffy, who was our supporter for our presentation, John, who was our lead volunteer, and LV, who was our supporter for ideas in getting these presentations into the virtual world best practice conference. Many, many thanks. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.